USA Basketball Men's National Team Managing Director Grant Hill joins Sports Illustrated on behalf of USA Basketball ahead of the 2023 FIBA World Cup. I'm Claudette Montana with Sports Illustrated and Grant Hill joins me now. And I want to dive right into this. This is kind of a new regime, if you will, for Team USA between you and Steve Kerr. What are your expectations for this team ahead of the World Cup? Well, we're, first of all, very excited, very thrilled to, to have this uh, this role and this responsibility, both Steve and I. And of course, you know, the expectation is and always will be to have success and win a gold medal. And of course, uh, we understand uh, just how difficult that is. But we're excited. We're up for the challenge. We're part uh, of a great legacy with the USA Basketball Program. And we feel like this team and this roster, the complementary skill sets and personalities, and I think just overall excitement and competitive nature of this group uh, really gives us an opportunity to meet those expectations that we have. Beyond Team USA, who do you think uh, could be the most competitive teams in this tournament? Yeah, it's a great question. I mean, <clears throat> you know, I think sometimes we, uh, we, we as Americans think that we, you know, we, we're the best in the world and we certainly have shown that at times, but the talent of other countries is incredible. France is a great team that's been together. They have continuity. They've been in the gold medal game against us in the Olympics in 2021. Uh, Canada uh, is so talented. Spain is always good. So. You know, one of the important things to emphasize is we have to understand the FIBA game, but also respect the FIBA game and respect our opponents. Uh, it's different than what we're accustomed to in the NBA. Uh, so it's, it's important for us to instill sort of what it takes to be successful, the style of play, the, how the game is officiated, the rules, all of that. Uh, and thankfully we have time. We have some time, not a lot of time, but we have some time uh, to get our guys up to speed. But there's a lot of great individual talent and there's some great teams that uh, feel as though they have a, a chance at the same goal that we do. Yeah, talking about style of play, some guys have said that the game overseas is a little bit more physical. What do you think the challenges are just playing internationally? Well, you know, I, I think here in the States, playing in the NBA, you, you grow accustomed uh, to a certain style and it becomes sort of second nature, it becomes, you know, instinctive. And, and now all of a sudden there's fewer possessions. Um, maybe they allow you know, more physicality on defense. There's certain nuances to the game or certain styles of play and behavior that works in the NBA that doesn't always work uh, and lead to success in the FIBA game. So it's changing some of those habits and, and changing it quickly. Overseas players who are in the NBA may play one way, but they may get in the FIBA competition and they're world beaters. And we've seen that. We've seen that historically uh, in, you know, international FIBA play uh, from, from a number of guys. So we just got to be ready. We got to focus on what we need to do and uh, make sure we bring the effort, make sure we understand the rules, make sure we play together and we play with confidence, you know, but we also have the appropriate fear necessary when going against a worthy competitor. You guys have a really talented group of guys, a young team, but very talented. One of those guys is Paolo Bancaro, a Duke alum. I know that you went to Duke. Um, is it exciting and kind of nice to have a fellow Blue Devil out there? You know, it is nice. I mean, Paolo and, and also, you know, Brandon Ingram, uh, another Duke guy as well on this roster. Yep. And so, yeah, I mean, there's, a, there's certainly a connection to them uh, and following their careers, both in college and also in the NBA. But but they're here because of their play and who they are and what they can bring to this team. They both have a unique skill set. Paolo being so young, so strong, so skilled. You know, he's a guy that, you know, has an opportunity to have this USA basketball relationship for quite some time. His style of play, what he can do, really brings a level of versatility for our bigs. And you know, we're excited. We understand he's, he's young, um, but he's incredibly talented and he wanted to do this and be a part of it. And we're grateful he is. Since I have you on the Duke topic, I have to ask you, who do you think is the best player to come out of Duke? Yeah, that, that's, a, that's a hard question. We've had, you know, We've, thankfully, we've had so many incredibly talented players, guys who have had exceptional careers in college and have gone on and been in the NBA. So, uh, you know, I'm going to put myself in the conversation, but you got Jason Tatum and Zion Williamson, 
you know, Ben Carroll could be there, Brandon Ingram, Johnny Dawkins. I mean, there's, there's a long list of, you know, worthy candidates, if you will. So, of course, I'm a competitor. Yep. And so I'm going to, you know, my name's going to be up there. But um, but mainly it's, it's a sense of pride, all of them, to see them grow and just have the, the careers and the impact uh, on the basketball court that all of them have had. Yeah, you got to throw yourself in there, of course. But can I ask you, <laughs> if you have to name your all-time starting five, players who would it be you know that that's tough because you're inevitably going to leave someone out who's worthy but um mm -hmm. i'm going to exclude myself okay so i'm okay. going to remove <laughs> my name from this so um i think christian Leitner, you know my teammate just incredible one of the greatest college basketball players of all time in the, in the history of the game so i'll go christian i gotta go with johnny dawkins who was the first real sort of all-american that committed to Duke and became a player of the year candidate. I like Shane Battier, you know, he was someone who was a superior leader um, and was just a great college basketball player. I'll go with Jason Tatum, one of the young guys. And it's a toss up between JJ Redick and Jay Williams, but I'll go with Jason Williams. I'll give Jason Williams some right. love. Uh, but you know, All there's right. so many, Kyrie Irving, JJ Redick. I mean, we've had so many guys that are that could be on that list and it certainly is very subjective but but that's my list the duke basketball program is just like a, a funnel to the nba it feels like there's just amazing <laughs> talent that comes out of the program every single year it's so much fun to watch well i'm looking forward to watching you guys i know america's looking forward to watching you guys as well and hey best of luck in these next couple of weeks okay I, I appreciate it thanks so much